Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. Let's explore the Nine Worlds Tavern. It's supposed to be where we're supposed to start for us to progress the main quest here in Trier, Germany. Wow, this place is actually super cool looking. Just kind of like relatively speaking compared to the uh, the Greasel pit <laughs> that we were in before. Where you literally walk through a hole in the wall to get into it. This just looks... Like... Medieval, almost. Alex D. A welcome encounter. How's the search coming? I've made some discoveries. I think that you've brought me to the right place. What's the passenger's name? My instructions forbid me to say. Maybe I could help if I knew who it was. You've been very helpful already. My computer analyzed the transceiver in your temporal bone and found some interesting data files. Those are encrypted files. I found the key some time ago. I will be using your eyes and ears to gather more data. As compensation, if you need a pilot for any reason, I will be available. Thanks, I'm glad to see you're taking my consent into account. I'll check back when I need a pilot. They're so strange and creepy. My chopper is ready when you are. Oh no, I don't want to leave yet. I'll check back. City map. Already got one. Vishnu's Fall. A brief history of the Indian crisis. After the bombing, Indian officials issued a series of stern warnings to Pakistan that were rebuffed with the denials of responsibility and dire threats that any attempt to use the bombings as a pretext for military action would be met with force in kind. From the viewpoint of the present-day historiographer, this was a crucial event, a game of brinksmanship that had been played between Pakistan and India many, many times before. And so, while tragic, it is also easily understood how clear signs of the impending catastrophe might have been ignored. Like two kids shoving each other on the playground, said historian Alistair Brooks, you never expect them to come to blows. That was before Pakistan began the trials of the Calcutta 16, and both nations descended into a maelstrom of political upheaval that would eventually culminate in the exchange of nuclear warheads. Alex D. You're the last one to oh, arrive. Oh shit, Tracer. I suppose that like the others, you're after my laboratory in the gateway to JC Dental. You're Tracer Tong. I see that Dr. Nassif didn't exaggerate about your mental acuity. Yes, I'm Tong. I suppose you will be wanting some answers. You may have already guessed that your true name is Alex Denton. Dr. Nassif was telling the truth. I'm a clone of JC Denton. With a few postnatal recombinations, yes. But our work has moved away from clones. So this gateway... I can use it to find J.C. Denton? Yes. Beneath the ruins of the Black Gate, J.C. constructed a portal to his secret base in Antarctica. <laughs> Only descendants of the Denton cell line can go through. However, the facility is already in the hands of the Templars. Did the Templars use the portal? How could they unless one of the other trainees... Unless the Templars have already convinced one of you to go through the gate and murder J.C. Exactly. At a minimum, they have a highly placed spy who has torn apart our organization starting with Chicago. What else do you know about this spy? Whoever it is also helped the Templars kidnap Her Holiness during a meeting with the Panzerworks Union. They are holding her at the Blackgate Laboratory. I'm going to give you a code to a secret entrance, which is in a room on the second floor of the East Tower, 2521. Look for a keypad hidden behind some crates. For all you know, I'm a Templar myself. Then Apostle Corps has already lost everything. Rescue Her Holiness. Save the summit for the sake of both factions. They will help you against the Templars. You will need the help of the WTO and Order just a little while longer. I understand. Here's something to give you an edge. A Biomod Infusion. It isn't much, but it's all I managed to grab on my way out of the laboratory. I love this game. Oh my god, this story is beautiful. So JC Denton is still alive. Been in hiding ever since the collapse for... I think decades at this point, nobody's seen them in decades. And I just learned that they're alive and I can go to them. Underneath of the black gate, there's a portal, like what is this, a stargate? That will only respond to the JC Denton cell line and that will teleport me 
to Denton's secret base in Antarctica. That is just so fucking silly. I love it. Is that supposed to be wood? I thought I would have to find Tracer Tong. You know, like, do a quest to find them. I wasn't expecting them to just be right here. They were a pretty big character in the original Deus Ex. Looks like an office of some sort. Nobody here. Ooh, a bunch of credits. I have so much money, but just like, I don't even know what to buy. There's very few people that actually sell anything. Panzerworks catalog. Large scale bots, HS66 hunter seeker bot, sleek and nimble, but it still gets the job done. Railgun. RB76 military bot, Panzerworks premier large scale bot, a tank that thinks. Rocket launcher. Why is it not breaking? There we go. Thought maybe my powers had become faulty. I feel like they usually break a lot easier though. Weird. Your friend, Coffee. Detective Dirk Murchison. Already read that. Tommy the Talking Greasel. Have not read that. Tommy was a Greasel. He looked scary. He sounded scary, but he was not like the other Greasels. He was nice, and he could talk. He was always afraid of Bloodstain, the large red Greasel who was the leader of his pack. Bloodstain always wanted to hurt people, and cats, and rats, and pigeons. Tommy liked all of the people and animals, but he was not strong enough to stop Bloodstain and the other Greasels from hurting them. Bloodstain could not talk and was very angry when he found out Tommy could. He spit at Tommy over and over, and Tommy was lucky to get away alive. When Tommy found Timmy, a little boy in a wheelchair who could not walk or talk, or then Tommy found them. When Timmy saw Tommy, his eyes went wide with fear, but Tommy said, Don't be afraid. I'm not a monster. I'm a transgenic. I will ride around in your lap and talk for you. I was created to serve you. We can be friends. At first, Timmy's mother did not like the idea, but when she learned that Tommy could talk, she laughed and laughed. You see, not all transgenic creatures are bad. If we give them a chance, they can be our friends. That's a nice story. Okay, so we came from here. Yep. Went in there. We've fully explored that. A member of the Order. Are you with the Summit? Certainly not. I live here in Trier. Seekers here don't care very much for this notion of a Summit. Why not? We have heard Luminan Saman's call for a return to Scripture. In this shard, we read the Scripture, the original word of Her Holiness. Not what she says for the camera today or tomorrow or two weeks ago. What's the difference? What's the difference? That's exactly the attitude that opens the door to tyranny in a free state. Remembering only what was said on the last talk show. What's the value of a free press when attention spans are so short? I was just curious about the summit. Sorry to interrupt. Her Holiness and Chairman Dumier are making a business deal. It may bring money, it may bring power, but it won't bring balance into the lives of ordinary people. Ooh. I think these steins actually might That's not- real daft. Oh, Sid Black. What are you doing here, you prick? I don't think these steins are made out of glass, are they? They don't sound the same and they don't seem to break. Nope. Are they flammable? Oh, whoa. They do break? 
I feel like I'm not throwing as strong, strongly as I used to. It's weird. Mm. Sid Black, how'd you end up in Trier? This way and that. Thought I could catch some business when the summit breaks up. Seen the sights yet? Don't mind doing local hops in between stark beer. How much? Any hops during the next 24 hours, just 50% more than the going rate for one hop. You can't beat that in this market. No. I'll let you know. New song selected. Oh. Can I select no song? I don't want to get matched third party content. You sure you locked up? Run! Strangers welcome. Just don't make any speeches. Just don't make any speeches? They've had problems with that lately? Oh, I haven't gone upstairs. Two locks. Hmm. Okay. I've got ten of these, right? Yeah. Why is there a shadow of a person on the wall? Oh. What the heck? That's odd. That's creepy. I wish I could, like, take you with me. Well, let's put you down there for now. Why are there skulls up here? What happened here? place has been ransacked. There's skulls. Jacob's Shadow. Chapter 12. A lot of people say this city looks like hell, Allie said. She took a long drag from her cigarette. The glowing tip burned a hole in the darkness. Most people never been to hell, Jacob said. She looked at him and he could hear the smile in her voice. And I suppose you have? Jacob said nothing, then stood and walked to the bed. Ellie let out a small noise and shrank back against the pillows, as if she'd claw her way back into them if she could. He leaned down close to her ear. You like to play games, he whispered, and that's fine, but you don't want to be playing games with me, because I'm the one, on the one honest man in this city. You should know that, since we were married. What? <laughs> okay. I don't feel like reading any of these. Oh wait, journal. I should read this. Uh, my family was once proud and powerful, but after the collapse, the cursed, the cursed WTO regime changed all that. My father, Eldrin Braden, fought them, pushing for diversity and civil freedom, but he lost. Something I have to accept. He wasn't strong enough. But now my brothers and cousins and I are old enough to carry on the fight. Our family is ruined, but we've moved into the underground. Seeing the world through the sniper's scope. Phelan has already taken several of their officers down over the last year, and Sheets continues to spy on their administrators, picking up critical intel data. In intel data? Who says intel data, not just intel? Lear is keeping a journal of what our oppressors would call our subversive activities. The saddest twist is that Caleb is broken with the family and now works directly with the WTO. My anger over this betrayal burns like phosphorus. I swear, I will see my own brother executed for this. We're going to build up a resistance movement and smash those bastards and their so-called laws of economic prosperity. Senjin Brayden. I thought maybe that journal would explain what we've seen up here. The creepy figurine and the skeletons, or, well, not skeletons, but skulls. But, nope, it doesn't. Okay, I think we're done with the tavern. Gemma Dumier of the WTO here. So you found that old fool, Tracer Dong. 
I would like to know what you were talking about. Please report to the Trier SSC station. It's at the end of the block, on your left as you enter the main square. Do I have to? That must be a WTO goal, right? No? It would say uh, WTO right before the beginning of this, just like it does for the order quests. Okay, that was easy. Increased range, increased damage. Nice, that's a pretty rare one. Modern ammo, already read that. Wound ballistics, already read that. WTO gun laws. Um, yeah, we've already read that too. Okay, cool. Ooh. This doesn't look good. You should never have jammed those actuators at Vanzerbox and stolen that shipment of welders. Now you will pay. I keep telling you, we stole nothing. How stupid do you think we are? Every day we hear the order accuse Panzervox of poisoning the river. We never stole from you. We only employed the necessary tactics to stop you from harming the natural order. Enough of this garbage. We know what you did and now you are going to- What's going on here? We are about to show this guy what happens when you push Panzervex too far. Keep walking. What did he do to you? The order steals our equipment to make us shut down the assembly line. His church has been doing this for months and we are sick of it. For some reason their voice acting is in and actually my own Alex's voice acting is incredibly loud in this cutscene. Well, conversation, I guess it's not a cutscene. But yeah, way louder than any other time ever. I just want to join in the fun. Um I've got an idea. If I give you guys some money, will you leave this guy alone? What? Are you his girlfriend? Let's see the money. Hmm. Okay, Zen. I guess we can find someone else. <laughs> okay. God, that accent. I'm yes. going to put yes. more oh. poison here. So oh. 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 That got my I just want to do that anyway. A body. It's cool, that don't worry. Enough. I'm leaving. Just take a little bit of their life essence. Construct hosts initiating breakdown. Thank you. Oh, I was thinking I could open that, but I can't. No one's gonna try to shoot at me for that, right? No, we're still cool with the guards. You scuffed my shoe, jerk. Ride the pigeon. Such a strange installation. <coughs> Closed to visitors. Sorry. No access to the Black Gate without the proper clearance. Is something going on? Nah, it's just another part of the citywide lockdown, along with the curfews, to try to regain control after the riots broke out at Panzerworks. How can I get the clearance to other parts of Trier? Wish I could help. If you have a problem with the new policies, talk to someone at the SSC station across the square. Okay. Given that, plus what we heard before, we definitely need to go to the SSC station. If anybody screwed up today, it was the commander can answer your question. City map. Name and business, please. Alex D. Who are you? Vera Maxwell, executive commander for the SSC. For Trier? No, globally. We're taking these summit preparations very seriously. You and the other delegates will be able to conduct your business without any distractions. 
I'd like to speak to the WTO chairman. He informed me. The WTO chairman is in the interrogation room upstairs. Don't worry, no one's going to get interrogated. Just a safety precaution. Wait a second, is there something back here? Aha! I heard about you guys. Until further notice, Mr. Dumier will conduct business only from behind a secure barrier. Tria is your home. Surely you must have some insight into why they would kidnap your lady, Her Holiness. She is practically a patron saint in this district. Indeed. The people here are very devout. Did I just ruin the conversation by doing that? <laughs> I think I maybe did. Whoops. Fair warning, we're all a little on edge. The SSC station is under high alert. Hello there, Alex from the TOSAS program, right? I wish you hadn't botched the Dr. Nassif interrogation in Cairo. Is Apostle Corps really such a serious threat that it's a concern to the director of the WTO? I've been following the Apostle Corps investigation very closely. Your loyalty in this matter would be a great asset. However, we have a more pressing crisis. Her Holiness is missing, along with my security chief, Donna Morgan. By chance, was this on the agenda for your meeting with that old curmudgeon at the Nine Worlds? Yes, I talked to Tracer Tong. He says that Her Holiness is being held by the Templars. Interesting. Is he sure? We've noticed some Templar activity on the north side of town. The Apostle Corps Laboratory is underneath the Black Gate. That's where she's being held. I'm glad you are willing to betray Tong's confidence. He said I should get your help. Perhaps we all have a common enemy now. Not likely. Tong always has an ulterior motive, at least where I am concerned. You have my authority to attempt a rescue, but stay away from that old fool. He will lure you into the criminal underworld. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and by the way, it has come to my attention that you rooted out some corruption in the new Cairo archaeology. Well done. It's my pleasure to present you with the citizen's bonus in person. Thanks. No thanks necessary. Compensation for whistleblowers is one of the pillars of a safe community. Here's a key to the gate in the courtyard. Like I said, the facility is on the north side of the city. <laughs> they gave me compensation. <laughs> for being a whistleblower. Okay, I was a whistleblower, true, but I was more than a whistleblower. I also assassinated them by throwing a grenade directly at them that exploded on contact. The people in this game really do not give a shit. Like, from the very beginning, WTO wants you to do their quests and wants you to not do what the Order wants. But I've been doing what the Order wants for a long time. And even though I keep getting scolded by the WTO, they keep giving me another chance. They're like, okay, I know you actually, you, you botched the Nassif thing. I didn't botch anything. I just blew them up and like, I murdered them because the Order wanted me to. But... Just like, okay, you messed that up. Yeah, you betrayed us here. Yeah, you betrayed us again. Okay, you betrayed us a third time. Yeah, okay, you know, it's, here's a citizen's compensation for, for blowing up the chairman. We're cool, we can work together. So for our biomod, let's go ahead and upgrade our aggressive defense drone to level 2. Stop incoming rockets and grenades at a greater distance. Yes, I don't want to imagine what will become of the older church. Ooh, who you got held there? I just wanted to give those older freaks what they deserve. Oh, one of the workers. So 
I can't go inside of interrogation. I've already been here. Let's see what's down here. Evidence? Hmm. I could break that, no problem. I do wonder if it's possible to damage turrets and things by throwing things at them. It doesn't seem like it. It just kind of goes through them. You know, I didn't even try the door. Oh, it's got three locks on it. Yeah. Um. Is the it, is it camera going to detect me? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a security computer either, unfortunately. SMG, shotgun, ammo, account trouble, Bob, there must be a mistake. Are we really billing the same account for both the uh, Pequod's and Queequeg's ad space? Jill. Yes, it's one account. The client would prefer that our firm keep these transactions private, though. Follow me? Just push the paperwork. Oh, we were looking for this for the quest. Right? Yeah, for the coffee wars. Tracking infrared disturbance. Doesn't really look like it's tracking me though, does it? Like anomaly detected. Identified. Okay, wow. I, I thought it would try to focus on me as soon as it detects something, but you have to actually like actively stay in its window of its its cone of vision for it to turn yellow. So we might not really have much of a problem. Tracking infrared disturbance. There's probably stuff up on the shelves. Combat knife. Reporting intrusion. Oh no 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 Oh Let's grab a couple more things and then just get out of here. So we still got the biomont? Yeah, we do. Anomaly threat identified. Okay, I think that's enough stuff. Yeah, we're good. Oh yeah, what can I spend that on? Um... Actually, that's a tough one. If I want to spend this black market biomod on something, I've got to replace something, because this is max level and this is max level. Just to take a quick look at what I can replace. So this charges melee attacks with the MP damage, no energy cost. I don't care about that. Enables first person control of bots, cameras, and turrets. Meh. So I guess that just leaves this. Acts as remote spy camera and delivers an EMP attack when detonated. That sounds super cool, but I don't really see myself using it. And I really want the vision enhancement. I want to keep that because it's been super useful at me being able to tell when people are coming for me and how to avoid them when I've tranked them and I'm kind of just running around a pillar trying to keep something in between me and them while I'm waiting for them to go down. So I don't really want to get rid of that. And this, this would be super cool if I was playing a very, very stealthy character, but since I'm really not... The notion of a spy camera wouldn't be all that useful. So it's just the EMP that I think would be useful, but eh, it's not worth it. So I guess I'm just gonna keep the black market biomod. Mr. Dumier will remain in the protected compartment for his own safety. Are these just all copies of Join the SEC? Yeah. <laughs> They're pamphlets in the form of books. What is that? It looks like the arco arcology model, but the texture's different. <laughs> I'm so strong, I love it. Oh, ah, it didn't matter this time, but I forgot that heals you. 
think we're done with this place. Let's go tell Queequeg owner about what we found. I can tell you what happened to your lawsuit. You can? Pequods and Queequegs are owned by the same people. It's one company. I saw the proof in the SSC evidence room. I don't understand. You're suing your own company, and the owners don't want the truth to come out in court. You, you mean all of this, my business, the competition with Pequods, it's all some sort of fabrication? Well, it's not unusual for a company to promote more than one brand of a product. Unbelievable! They've deceived millions, hundreds of millions of people. We can't let them get away with this. Thank you. You saved me the hassle of hiring any more lawyers. I hope you'll accept a small reward. I suggest you report this to the media. Force the parent company to come clean. I'll do it. They think they can trick me into serving their illegal scheme? The answer is no, my friend. The answer is no. Good luck. Yeah, you keep on that fight with Big Coffee. And during that cutscene, I noticed there's something behind here. <laughs> Bless you. Quickhug's office stored in Data Vault. Well, I've already hacked into the place. So, I think I've been given the access code to go in here? Right? Yeah. Blackgate Ruins. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we'll explore the Blackgate Ruins.